Hi, Sharia. This is Dave. So, um, I was right. It, it, um, I, I did a little research on the, um, what do you call it? The internet. Okay. And it should be giving that, given that line L is the normal. And we were close. We just made a really silly error here. Okay. So we do know that this point is one zero, right? And to find the equate, we need to find the equation of the normal so we can take the integral from a to b of the normal line minus the function in order to find this area right here I'm putting in green between the line and the curve. Okay, So we already have the function and to get the equation of the normal we did that correct correctly but I'll just do it again um, here. Um, we need to get the equation of the tangent line or the slope of the tangent line at the point one zero because that's where the normal goes through is at the point one zero. Okay. Uh, so that means I have to take the derivative of the function which is x squared minus x and the derivative is equal to 2x minus 1. So f prime of 1 is equal to 2 times 1 minus 1 equals 1, which means that the slope of the tangent line at the point 1, 0, so this blue tangent line right here, is equal to 1. And so the slope of the normal line, which is line L, is equal to negative 1. So the equation of the normal, I'm going to move over here. So that means the equation of normal, right? We have the point one zero, we have a slope of negative one. So that's going to be y equals negative x plus one. And now we need to find, we, we're almost there. We have the equation, but now we need to find a and b. So the area between the line and the curve is the integral from a to one. We just don't know what a is. It's, it's, it's this point right here, okay? Um, but we need to find it. And so we got this far. Um, let me go ahead and write in. It's gonna be L minus F. So it's going to be negative x plus 1, that's the normal line, minus um, the function f, which is x squared minus x, and of course that's a dx. Again, we just have to find the value of a. All right, so we would do that by setting the equation of the normal, negative x plus 1, equal to x squared minus x, is the x is canceling out negative x negative x if i add x to both sides then <laughs> they cancel out and so we have x squared equals one which means um x is equal to plus or minus one well it's over q is over here uh, to the left of the y-axis so a is clearly equal to oh i didn't write the one there plus or minus one sorry is equal to negative one. So that is the integral we must take to get the area of uh, between the line and the curve. So let's clean that up. Negative one to one of, let's see, negative x plus one minus x squared plus x dx which would be the integral from negative one to one, negative x plus, so just one minus x squared. So here we go, we're gonna integrate, integral of one is one minus x cubed over three, evaluated from negative one to one. So that will be equal to, plug in one would be one minus one third, minus, be sure to put parentheses, negative one. So negative one cubed is a negative one, negative times a negative is a positive, so that's plus one third. 
clean this up. 1 minus 1 third minus, or plus 1 I should say, minus 1 third, distributing the negative, 2 minus 2 thirds, that's equal to 1 and 1 third, or 4 thirds. All right, hope that helped and hope to work with you again.